What's up everybody, JB here, back again, welcoming you to The Other 100 Tiles, and level 61, and the walls kept tumbling down. You need every chip and key. Chips aren't under blocks, you can't take keys between rooms. Okay. So we get two red keys and a blue and yellow, okay. Let's see what we've got going on over here. So we're gonna need to use, well we're gonna need to use a bunch of stuff there. Can we get away with like using only one key on the other side? I wonder... Yes! Okay, great. We can enter through that. Figured that was safe since we need to use all the colors over here. Um, let's do that. There we go. Great, alright. That was interesting. I'm guessing, I'm wondering if there's like multiple ways to do this. I don't know if there are other than the going top versus bottom or something. Let's see what's down here. We got more keys, one of every color, and we can go with yellow or blue, or I think red might work? I don't know. Hmm, what do we have going on here? We can go with yellow or blue, so red is certainly an option for this this side. Hmm, I think I'm going to go for blue. Let's see how that works. Which means I need to go for yellow on this side. So how am I going to pull that off? Looks like I'm going to have to create a nail thing here. There we go. Alright, not bad. Okay, we're halfway there. Let's go move on to the next area. There's no teleport here. That's kind of interesting. I guess there's not on the other side either. Alright, so this is kind of like dynamite from CCLP1. Except smaller. So we need two blocks, I guess, to get over there. Let's see. We need to get these. These aren't really useful, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of them. Uh, let's extract all of this stuff out, and then worry about that in a minute. Alright, alright, I think we got this. I think we got this. We just need to go around like that. Excellent. Good stuff. Alright, so now we've just got one last room. There weren't even any keys in that room. I guess the doors are just there for decoration uh, to make sure everything's symmetrical. And from the looks of things, we're going to need to go to the right side on this one first and be very careful about where we push these blocks. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay, so now let's go... Hmm... Let's do that. That should work. And we can even exit up top, too, which is nice. Good stuff. All right. That was a fun level. I hope that gets into CCLP4, by the way. I really enjoyed it. Definitely a winner. The whole world sitting on a ticking bomb. Red buttons speed up the fuse slightly. Green buttons stop it briefly. Don't let it explode. So you can see here that there's a mechanism that's continually coning uh, fireballs, which is actually up here. We can see it going round and round. And uh, the green button will kind of set up like a pearl diving sort of mechanism that will stop the, um, the fireball temporarily from cycling through the buttons. And then the red button will clone, I think, a walker or something. And that... Um... Oh, wait, did I forget to get the chip up there? That Yeah, I think I did. Let's do that again. So the, the red buttons, I think there's a walker machine. Let me just see that. Yeah, it will clone two uh, if you do that, which is pretty clever. I like the idea of like green buttons being good and red being bad and all that. It's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff here. Okay, we're going to need to wait a little bit there for the tanks. But now we got access to the trap button for the ball. And just need to wait for it again. I'll press the green buttons occasionally just to be on the safe side, but this level is pretty lenient. It's not that bad. And additionally, um, you uh, can go all the way around the whole level as a loop, so you don't have to worry about backtracking or anything like that, which is also nice and very much appreciated. And you want to let this guy out before you get that so that you don't send him into a loop. And we were able to avoid him going into that button area and pressing the buttons like six times, so that's nice. Or seven times, I think. Yeah, I didn't really want to risk that. And I'd have to wait for it anyway, so... 
Figured why not, just go ahead and do that as such. Moving on, let's see what we've got here. We've got a blue key. Let's continue along this path though. Oh, uh, while we're doing this, um, I should probably mention as kind of a follow-up to my earlier comments, I finally finished watching Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1. What a relief. It was... I wouldn't say painful, because it, it, it's not really painful. I enjoyed it for the most part, but it was a little bit of a chore to get through in some places, just because I like the characters, but the stories could have used a little bit more work. Not gonna lie. It was... Uh, I, I, it felt average to me. Like they, they could have done a better job introducing everybody, and I think I mentioned this in the other, earlier video, but because Picard was so unapproachable we really needed another character to kind of function as that audience surrogate. And no one in the show, no one on the bridge crew, really fulfilled that role, at least yet. So, um, maybe that will happen one day. But I, 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 I'm I, looking forward to season two, and I can already tell it's going to be better, I think. It's, it's definitely kind of a little bit more grounded as far as what everyone's role is and whatnot. Not really sure if I like the new Doctor character, but we'll see how she does. Anyway, Papa Block Fort. Um, so this level is all about recessed walls, and I gotta admit, when I first heard the title, I wondered if this was a reference to Mario Kart 64. Um, just because one of the battle tracks was named Block Fort, and it was a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Whoa! Oh, wow, okay, that's a ball. That's a ball, okay. Whew. Let's be a little more careful next time. Um, I'm actually gonna do this first, because... The other end is uh, only approachable from this side. So let's do that. And then I think I'm just going to zip across horizontally. Because we don't want to do like an L-shaped path here because then you'll trap one of those chips uh, for good before you even get flippers. So you definitely want to avoid that. There we go. Okay. It's kind of funny because this is one of the few levels in the set where you can touch the border, and it feels so awkward. I mean, in some ways I don't mind, but in some other ways it's kind of like, oh, this feels weird, you know? It, it just it, it just feels strange. I, I'm not sure how else to describe it other than that. Okay, so let's backtrack. Oh, wait, no. We can't do that. Uh, oh boy. I think we may have wasted a bunch of walls. Okay, I think we're good for now at least. This is kind of reminding me of Salmon from earlier in the set, you know, going against the flow like this. Okay, we're, we're okay. We, we can now make it all the way around now that we have suction boots. And I think that's all we need to get here, if I'm not mistaken, so let's move onward. There's that word again, onward. Um. I'm just going to go down, since we can. And let's go into here, see what surprises await us. We got some chips, and okay, it's teleports to the other side. Very, very helpful. And we've got only 12 left. We know where eight of them are. They're in those little cubby hole things, which I think are the only ones left at this point. So let's do it. I think it's really clever how you need all of the recessed walls in these little cross areas. Like that that's really cool. And we're actually pretty close to the bold time, so not bad. Let's just go up here. Alright, pop up block four done. That's a fun level. Really enjoyed a lot. Infinite loop. Okay, what have we got in this one? That's a loop, alright. Uh Oh, okay, so this is an infinite loop here. Okay, can we get off? Okay, we can get off. Fascinating. All right. Um, so we've got a blue wall maze going on. And lots of stuff to do, it looks like. we got some item swapping type challenges going here. And it doesn't look like we can get down to that block right now unless there's a path here. There's a tank there that... Presumably, we'll blow up that bomb and allow us access to that block. Okay, so we're pretty much going to need a blue key. Where do we get a blue key? Alright, I'm not going to clear up that upper dirt space, because that would be bad. 
Okay, I'm going to... How are we going to handle this? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this. Because ultimately what we want is we want a fireball to go here, but then another one to press the button. So if there's a continuous thing going, that should work. So let's see what happens here. Oh, we're going to need to like do more, aren't we? Come on, guys. Come on, I mean, seriously, what's... What's the hold up here? I probably did this wrong. I. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Did I. <sighs> Wait a minute. I was supposed to clear the upper dirt. Now I got this. Okay, let's just start over. I was confusing. Um this was something else alright let's 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 go ahead and do this first okay so go up here oh you need to oh, okay you need the dirt there to clear that top one wait do you hang on no you yeah you do let's start over again sorry guys I I'm just kind of incompetent today apparently and again I guess this is kinda of normal maybe I'm just not giving myself enough credit I don't know Okay, so here we can control the toggles and stuff, so let's do that. There we go. Okay, the tank button's pressed. That's how you're, do you're supposed to do that. So now we've got a block, and I think... Hang on, can I use the concussion rule? Here, I I remember in the bold route you do use the concussion... Or not the concussion rule, the headbanger rule. But I forgot how that plays out exactly. We got the blue key. And I think that will release, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, since we pushed it down, I don't think we can use the headbanger rule anymore. So, okay, that's the other block we're supposed to use, and ultimately we're supposed to partial post with it in the trap there. So I think it would be better if we just go ahead and do it the intended way. Wait, are we supposed to use m more than one? Wait, maybe there was another space there. I guess there is another space there. Alright. Whatever. I'll go ahead and do it. I just need to figure out how to... Wait, is this how you do it? Ah, here you go. Pretty simple level overall. It's kind of a fun sort of like, huh? Sort of challenge uh, late in the game, which is always kind of cool. Just want to make sure that was actually there before pushing it up. There we go. Now we're out here in the invisible maze. Um, and we can see stuff. All the adventures we had. We, I, there was like an exit. Yeah, there you go. There's an exit. Except we have to go from the bottom. There. Alright. Good stuff. Palace of the Pentablock Trials. This level is a quite a killer challenge, I gotta admit. It's pretty tough. Let's go cl uh, clockwise. Um, this kind of reminds this room at least reminds me of Twisted Chambers from CCLP3. Uh, we have to push it down and then uh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now we get it up here, and then okay. Ultimately, we need to go into the trap button area there. So let's close that off. That way we don't have to worry about that. Okay, there we go. Made it. That wasn't so bad. A little bit of timing there. I think there's a way to do it without the timing. I just totally forgot. Alright. And the bold route doesn't use the long way, so there's that too. Alright, so now we go up here to the next room. I like this whole mechanic of like starting with the block, but then you have to wiggle it out somehow. In the north, which is this area, take all monsters with you. In the southeast, push trapped blocks before releasing them in links after in MS. Alright, well we're playing in MS. Let's take all the monsters with us. Oh no, I just... 
I just messed that up, didn't I? Uh, start over. That room is the hardest, so you know what? I think I'm going to go there first before any other room. Just to kind of be on the safe side. It's so difficult just because that bug and these gliders are a little bit unpredictable in terms of movement and stuff. Woof! Ah, I trapped the block, and yes, of course you have to take the block with you just because of the nature of the challenge here. I'm probably going to make, like, all kinds of sounds in this video, just a warning. Like that, UGH! Okay, what are we doing here? You go in. Good, good, good. Okay, how about you go in? Yes, there you go. See, that's not so bad, it's just when they all collide in weird ways and do stuff. And You need to go back so you can go around and go through the left wall path. Here's where things get a little crazy, because the monsters can easily collide with each other in weird ways here, and you gotta make sure they're all through before going in yourself. But thankfully we made it out, so let's just go around more. This next room's pretty fun. Got a lot of boosting in it, but it's pretty fun. So we need to go... Oh! Did I just trap myself in here? Really? Ah, oh, I forgot about that little trick. I, of course you shouldn't do that. I'm still having to get used to the idea of having to take the blocks with you like this. It's one of those things that's easily forgotten. I'm just not used to it. Okay, come on. Normalize, stabilize, whatever. There you go. Alright, after this area, I can hopefully breathe. I'm just going to go and blast through. Whoa! That may have been a bad idea. There you go. Sorry there's not much to say. I know we're just kind of doing this over again here, but... Don't worry, we're going to go into new territory momentarily. There we go. Why did I do that? Ugh. I keep doing dumb stuff here. I... Ugh. This level, man. It's it's a monster. This, this level's tough. I should have waited for another glider cycle just to make sure that they were a little more on the cooperative side. There we go, okay. Ooh, just in the nick of time. And let's get you there. Alright. Go ahead and die. Now! Now can we do this room without any problems. Because, like, the other parts of the level are really easy. It's just that this level is really long. That's the main thing. Okay, so we need to get you onto the trap button there. Let's go around this loop thing. There we go. Okay. All right. Finally. Now let's transport you all the way back. Just kind of a bit of a lengthy process. I'm just going to flick there. Why not? Alright, on to room number three. So this is the room where we need to um, do this little trick with the traps. So what you have to do here is you have to press the button, then push the block. Which is kind of interesting, because it won't work beforehand. Um, if you do it beforehand, then the block won't even move. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. In Lynx, like, you have to push the block before pushing the um, the button, and then the block will just follow you. It's it's really strange how it's different in both. But see, it's really easy compared to those other rooms, isn't it? I mean, come on. Alright, next room. This also kind of reminds me of Twisted Chambers, where you have to like open doors to get to new areas and stuff. 
Alright, and in case you can't keep up with the traps here, they are horizontal, plus you got the whole, um, what's the word for it, um, the, the, the keys to keep track of as well. But I guess in the case of the bottom ones, the horizontal element definitely helps. Alright. Can we not mess up on the last room? Please, let's not mess up on the last room. Please, let's not mess up on the last room. Let's do this. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go and prep that for when we get back. Since there's chips under blocks. Alright, so... Let's just make sure we're being careful... And not silly, because silliness is not something that can be afforded. Uh, there. I'm doing all kinds of Link's Impossible stuff here, and I, I'm sorry if that offends all the Link's purists out there, but I just really want to get through this. Um, I go back here, don't I? And, 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 we're out of here! Woo! Bubble Bubble Boil in Trouble, level 66. Alright. Retrieve the legendary blue diamond, or is it a key? From among the lava flows and worthless rocks. Alright, so these are worthless rocks, they don't do anything. We gotta dodge the lava monsters here. Okay, so there's two paths mainly that we need to worry about. The one at the bottom and the one that goes up here that we're going on right now. This is kind of an interesting climbing kind of thing. Where, oh, we gotta push the blocks, right? Duh. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. What? How did I not see that? Ah. Come on, JB, get with the program here, man. Step it up a notch. Oh, for crying out loud. The timing on this is just silly. I'm still in optimizing mode. I, I really need to get out of that. Alright, there you go. What? <sighs> this level isn't even that hard. This is a really easy level. It's just... I'm having the weirdest time ever trying to get through all this. There we go. Okay, gotta be patient. The time limit is just kind of a little worrisome since it's not exactly high. Okay, there should be a chip. Yes, there is a chip there. Perfecto mundo. Alright. Oh, I thought I could make that. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I. It's just kind of a natural instinct when you see certain things and you just want to go for them like that. I, I need to really help... I, I need to shed that. I, I really can't go on that anymore. Not for an LP. An LP, things need to progress. And this is not progressing very nicely today. Alright. Wait. There we go. Okay, this next section is very short, which is nice. Okay. Now, let's go through here, and go through some more rocks and stuff, and what's up here? Is this where we get the blue key? Yes, it is where we get the blue key. Cause he oh, how did I not see that? How did I not see that? Oh, game, seriously, stop being a jerk. Mmm. This is not my day again, is it? We're getting into the hard stuff now. And that's saying a lot, because this level isn't even that hard. It's it's easy. Just must be one of those days, I suppose. Note to self, don't do LPing right after working on time trial levels for CC Zone. Not a good idea. Alright. Get this other one here, and then get out. And go to the exit. Dum dum dum, or get the blue key. Why are those recessed walls even there anyway? Like, I don't get why those are even there. Well, it doesn't matter. We're on our way out. 
what is this all about? Like, there's this turning thing going there. I guess this is so you can have something to dodge right there. We made it, though. Moving on to Eliminated the Impossible. And this is impossible, so let's not do that. Let's do this instead. All right, so what's impossible here next? That certainly looks impossible. That's impossible, so that leaves this. And that's definitely impossible. But this isn't. Just slip right through. And links, that would be a little trickier, I think. Bet you didn't know that last feat was possible, eh? There are no ice skates in this level. Um, this room right here definitely looks impossible because you can't get the blue keys. So that's out. And, oh, we can't even get in there now. Whoop! I guess we're going to go start over. That's kind of a bit of a bummer. All right. At least we don't have to worry about the exploratory part of this level anymore. All right, let's take the top path this time. And this time go down. All right, now he mentioned that there's no ice skates in the level, so the top path is the impossible one here, clearly. So let's go down. He didn't say anything about flippers or blocks, so I'm going to go over here and just hope for the best. It's looking like a block. Yes, okay, good. Move you around there. And then go out. There definitely seem to be a lot of these, like, navigate a block on ice kind of puzzles in this set. It's rather really interesting. Alright, we made it through. And onward to force your way through. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to take this on the next video. We've gone on for a while here. And uh, we're getting to the point in the set where we're not going to be able to do 10 levels per video. I mean, I just have to be realistic with myself. It's not going to happen. So let's just start breaking it up into smaller chunks here. And we'll catch up next time with this level. And hopefully I'll actually be able to play a little bit better. So until then, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all on the flip side.